Hey guys, it's Landon from Redefined Horizons. This is the first video I'm doing in a set of videos for the boundary survey on 100 Dynestag Road. That is a parcel a little bit outside of Waterford, California. I'm going to do a whole set of videos that walk you through how to resolve that boundary from start to finish. Probably be a half a dozen or so videos. I'd like to do that a, a handful of times uh, for for folks. So we'll we'll I'll try and pick surveys that make sense, and and I'll do a, a video sets that walk you through how to resolve the boundary from start to finish. So this is going to be the first one where I try and do that. The reason I, I picked this survey is it's it's relatively simple, but it is a deeded parcel, so we're going to have to resolve some deed calls. Excuse me, and there's some old maps. So I, I, this will be a good one. It's it's simple, but it's got a, enough enough complexity to learn a little bit, and uh, it, it'll be fun, I think, depending on your definition of fun. So what I want to do in this video is just kind of give you an overview of the parcels that we got to survey, and we'll take a look at the three main survey maps. There's not a lot of maps in this area. There's not a lot of monuments. It's it's rural, uh, but this is a fairly common type of survey that we do here at Redefine Horizons because we're, we're here in the Central Valley of California, and we have a lot of this kind of rural agricultural land that doesn't get surveyed a lot. There's also not a lot of monuments out here. I've, I've been out and done the initial field work and there's just there's not a lot uh, what's not uncommon so the area that we're that we're going to survey we're actually surveying for this windy hill farm this little ranch here it's about 23 acres okay but if you go ahead and pull the deed and i'll do a separate video where we go through the deeds if you pull the deed you find out that it, it's really part of this old subdivision that runs all the way down here so the kind of the shape i'm tracing so we actually had to survey all of this to figure out where these deeded parcel boundaries are. And that's what we're going to do in this set of videos. We're going to figure out where these deeded parcel boundaries are in the ground. But that initial field survey went all the way from here down to here. So we, we surveyed this whole area. And that's what you have to do when you're surveying lots of a sub subdivision, typically. This is what we call a large lot subdivision in Central California. So that's the uh, the area that we're surveying. This is the parcel that we're going to resolve. Let's go ahead and look at the maps. So in my shop, those will be in the boundary research folder. So let's go ahead and cruise over to the job. So this is job 88. And if we go into the boundary folder, research, Filed survey maps, we can take a look at the maps. This is a record of survey that's in the area, but it's not very helpful. I don't think it, it's gonna, it's not, it's just a retracement survey and it's pretty old. I don't, I don't know that it's gonna be relevant. So let's look at our subdivision map. This is what I call our controlling subdivision map. And you guys will see that when we do the boundary, the boundary survey report. So if you read our deed, which we'll do in the next video, we're actually a portion of this lot five. So we're all a lot five south of the line. So the first thing we got to do is figure out where these boundaries of lot five are. And you can see that's why I had to kind of survey this whole shape. Okay, so this is an old subdivision map. He set redwood hubs. Uh, there's not a lot of information on here. Uh, my survey tech, Nikki, Kogo, this. There are significant closure errors. So there's about five feet north-south on these lines. So it's just an old map and it doesn't close super great. So we'll have to keep that in mind when, when we resolve the boundary. Now, fortunately, that error is mostly north-south, not east-west. Uh, but we just have to remember, you know, how close can you get when you got five foot closure errors on all these lots? You just have to remember that. And, you know, when they did this back in 1920, five feet for this kind of land was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, so I don't want to knock the work that the, that the surveyor did. Okay, so that's the first map. Then we had a, a couple retracement surveys come in. So this one came next. So essentially what they did is they, they took uh, these lots and they reconfigured this lot line here. So if you look at the map, the other map, 
let's see here. They took, I'm sorry guys, they took, is it this line? Okay, so this line right here is this line right here. So what they did on this parcel map is they created this new line here. So they, this is a two lot parcel map. So you created this new line that wasn't here on this map. So we are going to use this one probably in our in our boundary resolution. Okay, and then the last map. So this one came next. Um, subdivided another, created another parcel here. So it created it. It's again, it's a two lot map, parcel A with a remainder. What this means when it says remainder is he didn't really survey this is what he's saying. So that got created. Uh, let's see, that carves out. I keep closing that by accident. That carves out a lot right in here. So it creates this kind of lot right here. So it's a portion of lot three. Now the reason I, I we're going to use these two newer maps is because these are the monuments we found. Uh, these are all redwood hubs. I didn't find any of these. There may be redwood hubs in. Uh, I'm going to go back with stakeout and look for a couple of these redwood hubs that are on our survey. But all this ground has been cultivated pretty regularly. And there's an irrigation canal and a road and another irrigation canal up, up here. This, this ground has been worked pretty heavy since 1920. I'm not saying I won't find a redwood hub. Uh, I might. We're going to go look for, for one, two, three, four, five, six of these at least. I'll look for these. Uh, but I suspect we're, we're probably not going to find them. So that's why we're using these other maps, because we found some of these, these pipes and rebars on these other maps. Okay, so that's an overview of the maps that we're going to use. You can see I've numbered the search point numbers on here. That's something that's pretty typical that we do here. Okay, well, I, let me, uh, while I have time, I'm going to pause the video and just show you the, the GIS that we set up real quick. Okay, guys, so this is the GIS that we set up in QGIS, QGIS. Oh, you can see I have my search point numbers plugged in here and uh, we looked for all we looked for these I couldn't find them I'm fairly certain these are way behind the fence the, the fences out here on the road so I, I didn't hop the fence uh, one of these neighbors the guy that owns this land right here he went stinking ballistic while we were out there so I wanted to be careful so I didn't hop those fences this guy I talked to he was super nice um, it might have been this neighbor I think I talked to both these neighbors, actually. Anyways, I talked to a couple of these neighbors, and they let me in here. We got back in and tied this monument out. And we found this monument. It was hard to find, but we did find it. And then uh, we found another one down here. This one we found. And then uh, we found a monument up here. But that was it. That's all we found, four. I looked for a bunch. We only found four. Like I said, a lot of them were redwood hubs on the original on the original map. So you can see right here is that, that shape that we're retracing from that old subdivision map. To, and we're trying to establish this this parcel here for this ranch. Okay, so that's all I'm going to cover in this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to put together the boundary search drawing, what we call the boundary search drawing with the maps. And then I'll probably take a break. Pop, we'll pop the video open, and or uh, we'll, we'll pop open the deeds. We'll, we'll take a look at the deeds. Uh, we've got a couple deeds that we need to look at. And then, uh, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and actually resolve the, the, the boundary line work. So, all right. See you in the next video, guys. Thanks.